yes, the first, you know, the first 30 plays were probably something I've never been a part of, to be honest with you. Um, our guys, you know, they prepared all week. You know, we knew UTEP coming into this game had an athletic quarterback and some things that they like to do. And our guys, you know, from the very first play, you know, Ben Holt gets the tip strictly off of a key that Coach Crum uh, taught him. And Roger Craig finished the play. But I think our players did a great job of the details, and it paid off in, in the first 30 plays. You know, obviously late in the game, we gave us some bigger plays that kind of hurt us a little bit. But, you know, definitely want to finish better. But, I, but definitely the first 30 plays was some stuff I haven't seen before. You talked about the momentum that mm -hmm. you guys got off in the opening touchdown drop. Absolutely. As your defense is going on to the field, I mean, did you just sense anything mm -hmm. going out there, just the beating off of that? I mean, it's always exciting to watch your offense go down and score on a fourth, you know, a long drive to start the game, then a fourth down conversion. I mean, it definitely got our guys hyped up. They were bouncing around. They were ready to take the field. Um, I think that was the most important part is that they scored, and we came back and answered back, and then they scored, and then we kind of continued that. There's some things that, as a team, we haven't been able to kind of accomplish that a lot. But I thought it was great for us to get that feeling, understand that we are, that we can play together, and, you know, the outcome can be um, really good for us. The secondary seemed to have a desire to carry that effort over the five interceptions into this week. I sure hope so. You know, uh, that'd be awesome. I mean, it, I mean, it's all about really doing your job on the back end. If you don't do your job, and you have no chance of making those kind of plays whatsoever. And those guys did their jobs. You know, sometimes people say some of those were luck, but the, I watched those plays. I wanted to make sure it wasn't luck when I watched it on, on, on Sunday morning. And it was strictly technique and fundamentals and, and key moments from previous games that came to that, to that very first quarter of the UTEP game. But uh, we love to carry those details over. And we have an opportunity to make plays. Let's finish those plays. We actually could have had two more interceptions. So we really – Deontay Ruffin could have caught one and Devin Key could have caught one in the end zone later. But – I think if Ruffin catches that one, Gage doesn't get his, so whatever. So. You talked about setting the two yes. things. Whenever UTEP comes out of the second mm -hmm. and scores, mm -hmm. and makes that conversion, just how much did that sort of maybe put the defense off balance for the second half and just allowing some scores? And just what was the key in not being able to carry over that first half into the second? The thing was, it was kind of one play. It was the scramble. It was third and 17 or 18. They scrambled to fourth and one. So that play kind of hurt us. Then they got. Then I knew they weren't going to sneak because it was fourth and one and a half and fourth and two. I should have just told somebody to back up on the on the pop pass that they threw to the tight end. That kind of like got us in the back. That kind of reverted back. They they got the first down. Then they got the big play. Then it was like, okay, let's settle down. We didn't get a chance to settle down. Then I think we got a sack later. And then kind of you know the game was kind of over after that. But. You, the mindset in the halftime was let's finish this game. It wasn't say, hey, we're here. You know, it's not the score wasn't zero zero like everyone always says at halftime. It's forty to nothing. Let's let's continue with this. But then come on, execute. So we got to do better next time. Clayton, I know mm -hmm. you that, that this Saturday is all about players and, and the seniors in their final game winning. Um, based on what you saw last Saturday, just your gut feeling. How do you think your defense is going to play in, in, in Russell? I, mean, I think they're going to play inspired. I think those guys are going to come out with the fire to, to come out and, uh, you know, play some really good defense and give us an opportunity to win, uh, give us opportunity to win in the fourth quarter. I think our guys understand that La Tech presents um, some problems. They mean, obviously, they have a pretty good offense, really consistent offense over the years, um, a really experienced quarterback in Jamar Smith. I think our guys are – I mean, they want to go out with a bang. They want to send some of these seniors out on the right note from, from their time here at Western Kentucky. Clay, my other mm -hmm. thing is we obviously talked about you. I thought what you said about what you learned as being a defensive coordinator for the first time that a few minutes ago, Coach Sanford had some very complimentary mm -hmm. things to say about you and your defensive staff. And I'm asking you to speak for the entire defensive staff. Is it safe to say that you guys have been happy with what you've done and learned, but at the same time, you always feel there's, there's more you can do better? You're correct. Uh, we're definitely – we feel like – Every single week, we try our best to put put together the best possible plan for our players to execute. And then on Sundays, on Saturdays, things don't work the way that you hope that everyone wish they, they would work out. But we do feel like if we can just continue the growth and continue working the way we work and continue with the details, that one of these days that you know it's, it's going to be the West Kentucky defense that we all that we all want to be one of the top defenses in our division, to be one of the top defenses in the country. We're just going to continue to work on that. And I, from a staff standpoint, those guys work extremely hard for those players and for the coaches and, you know, for the program. Um, 
every single day. So definitely tilt my hat off to the defensive staff.